welcome back to another episode of Small Girl Big Talk. I am extremely excited to be here today because we are officially launching our Patreon community. As I shared in our last episode, when I kickstarted this podcast, I have always had community in mind and honestly I've been talking about starting this community for over a year now but there was just so many fear and perfectionism that you know has been stopping me from doing it and we'll be talking a lot more about it today but right now I just want to share more with you about this community because it is a space where I really want to be able to connect with you beyond this episode to hear your thoughts and have discussions about these topics that we discuss on our podcast. I want to have a space where you can let me know what you want to learn more, what you want to talk more about, who are the guests that you would like for me to invite onto this podcast. I really want this podcast to be a community-driven space because this is our collective personal growth journey, right? And I would only be able to create better content for you if I can actually talk to you and hear more from you. And on top of that, I would also be sharing a lot of behind-the-scenes updates. Um, Like, I've always wanted to share more about my journey in growing as a content creator, as a podcaster, as an entrepreneur. Um, Because it's not an easy journey and there's a lot of things that I've always wanted to share more about. So you would get to have the first dips on all these updates and, you know, even like my income updates and stuff like that. I would be sharing more in my community. And lastly, I really want to think that this would be a space where you can connect with like-minded people like yourself, because I know that as someone who is listening to this podcast, you are someone who care about your personal growth and you want to go further and become a better person in this journey, even though it might be tough. Sometimes we all struggle through our journey. And I truly believe that this would be a space where you can meet like-minded people to grow together so right now there is a link on our show note and it is free to join this community you can think of it like you are just giving me your email address to give you a newsletter update of what's coming up each week and you know to invite you into a conversation about this episode and this topics and of course like you know exclusive updates about the things that I don't discuss here on a podcast, there is also an option for you to subscribe for a small donation that can help me to fund my future episodes, but that is completely optional. I would definitely appreciate it a lot if you can subscribe because it will help me a lot in funding this project. But if it's something that you are not ready right now, it is completely okay as well. I totally understand that. So you can just tap on the link in the show note and join now and I'm looking forward to see you there. Now coming into the topic of the day, right? We are actually entering a new series called The Foundation for a Fresh Start because as the year comes to an end and we are preparing ourselves for the new year, right? I really wanted to wrap up the year and wrap up this season with a series on personal growth. And I wanted to call it foundation for a fresh start because typically, you know, in November and December, this is the time where I personally would go through all the necessary reflection and preparation to build a stronger foundation to prepare me for a fresh start in the new year. There are already a few topics that I have in mind and today we will start by going through the three mindset shifts to break free from perfectionism and start creating because as someone who has been creating content for over 10 years and has been in the entrepreneurial journey for over five years as well I know how perfectionism can really get in the way for so many of us to actually do the work that we say we want to do This patron community is the perfect example of it. I still struggle with perfectionism, but there are also a lot of things that I've been 
working through. And that's why today I kind of really want to share with you this mindset shift that has really helped me to move past this perfectionist attitude, right? To really move past this block that has been stopping me from moving forward and to finally do things. The first shift that you want to make is to know that you don't need to know it all to get started. I have met many entrepreneurs and content creators in my journey and there are a lot of times where I hear people say things like, oh, I need to attend a course first before I can start this business or I need to get a certification first to build that confidence or um, I need more time to learn the marketing or I need to build a proper website first to look more legit. Like, I get it that these are the things that you think will help you to look better in other people's eyes in order for you to build that confidence to get things going. But honestly, you don't really need to have it all to get started and you don't need to know it all too. Sure, I really get it if what you want to do is something that's completely different industry from what you're doing, you might need to attend a course and to understand about the industry better or to learn the techniques better. But oftentimes we overthink the process and think that we need to know it all first, then we can launch our business or start our social media channel, but you don't really need to. I think what really would help is that you first need to have an idea of the direction that you are going. You need to know what's the business model going to be like, where is your revenue going to come in from, where are you going to get funding for this project, what are the tools that is going to help you to kickstart it, like in a very simple version and you are actually ready to go. I mean, that's number one, a very important rough skeleton that you need to know, but you don't need to go into the details like building a website first, right? And I think one more thing that would be very important to always remember is also to have a good idea of your why, like a guiding intention of why you are doing this thing that you want to do and let that be your main driver. Because I think oftentimes when we are too caught up in our own perfectionist mind, right, we always think about this Like we overcomplicate things basically. Like you think that you need to have every single thing. But if you focus truly on the intention of why you're doing that thing, you can actually simplify things by a lot. So I'll just take an example, right? For this community that I am kickstarting, I definitely overcomplicate everything at the beginning. Like I was so caught up in finding the right tool to kickstart this community. And honestly, like right now, I have chosen to move forward with Patreon. Do I know that this is the best tool? I don't know. I mean, at least with my research right now, that is my understanding that it's a good tool for me to kickstart the process with. And I would only be able to figure out if it is suitable for my community, if it is something that you guys would want to actually sign up and join. Like all these things, I wouldn't know until I actually get the work done, right? And the main intention that has helped me to get going is that I just need a space where I can post my updates and I can engage in conversations with you guys. Because the main intention is that I want to hop on conversations with you in order for me to have that two-way communication so that I can create better content for you. So you see, when I have that clear guiding intention, it helps making that decision and to move forward right now. So there are so many things that I still don't know about this community. And honestly, I'm just taking you along with me in that journey. And that should be how you approach your business or your social media growth journey and all that stuff because you don't need to know it all in order to get started. The second mindset shift and kind of the message that I want to share with you is you are going to suck when you start. So why not suck now? 
Okay, I'm not going to sugarcoat you as you kickstart and tell you that oh my god, babe, you're doing such a good job. Like I'll probably be very encouraging and tell you that I'm so happy that you kickstarted. But this, this, this are some feedbacks that I have, and you can improve from it. And that is good because the truth is, whatever it is that you are going to do. Whether you are selling a coaching program online or you are posting YouTube videos on the internet, you are going to suck at the beginning. Because the thing is, if you've not done something before, you're not going to be good at it. But the thing is, it's only when you actually do it that you can see what your weaknesses are, what your strengths are, and what are the things that you can slowly improve. And get better at. So one thing that I often get from friends who come across my podcast and all that stuff is people always tell me that I am very natural in front of the camera and on the mic, and they wish that they can be like me. Like guys, I started off being really shitty as well. Okay. You guys only see what you see right now. That is the podcast that I've created for the past two years, right? But what you did not see is nine years ago was when I kickstarted my YouTube journey, and I didn't even have the courage to speak in front of the camera because I had so much fear, and perfectionism was really holding me back. And it took me two years. To find that courage to finally not give a fuck anymore and to speak in front of the camera, and that is seven years ago. So I've had practice of seven years in order to help me to get to where I am today, to feel so confident to speak in front of the camera and on the mic. And I still don't think that I am great or perfect. Every time that I edit my podcast episodes, there are still going to be mistakes that I catch, or some filler words that I find myself to be using a lot, or like maybe some awkward hand gesture that I am making. But the thing is, you won't be able to catch what you're suck at until you actually do the work. So if you are going to suck no matter what. Why not suck now? Why not be bad at it now, and just do it so that you create this space where you are actually able to learn from your mistakes, to learn from the things that you realize you've done wrongly, and then improve and keep moving forward from there. The last and third mindset shift that I want to share with you is to not let the results determine your self worth and self confidence. Whatever it is that you are going to do, say it's starting a business or creating a social media channel, there probably will be some sort of metrics for you to figure out if you are doing good or bad in whatever it is that you are doing. So for business. Probably you would be measuring your results based on your sales or the leads that are signing up to show interest in the product that you are selling, right? And in terms of social media growth, you probably would be measuring based on the number of likes and engagement that you are getting. If you are gaining any tractions in terms of followers and subscribers, those would be a good measurement too. And in my case, for example, in growing this community, I would know. That this community is doing well or not, depending on whether or not people sign up to join this community and engage in conversations, this metrics would give you a good measurement on how to adjust your actions accordingly. Whether it's to change your messaging for your marketing plans so that you can sell better, or whether it's to change your angle when it comes to creating your content, or to change your style of editing so that you know it actually attract people better in terms of the work that you do. But what I want to remind you is that you should always detach your self worth from all this. Metrics and all these results, because who you are as a person is not determined by these numbers, but by the values that you hold, by the intention of why you are doing this work, by your creativity and your ability to make things work for you. 
And once you are able to detach yourself from all these metrics and data, the process of creating and to keep moving forward would become so much easier for you. Now, there you go. The three mindset shifts that would help you to break free from perfectionism and to finally start creating. Number one, you don't need to know it all to get started. You just need to have a rough idea of where you're going, a rough skeleton to help guide you move forward and you are already ready. Number two, you are going to suck when you start. So why not suck now? You would only be able to understand your weakness, to make mistakes, to learn from it in order to be able to improve yourself and to get better at something. So why not suck now? And lastly, don't let the results determine your self-worth and self-confidence. When you are able to detach your self-worth from all of this, the process of moving forward and to keep creating would become a lot easier easier for you. I hope that whatever I shared is able to really help you to break free from the whole perfectionism idea and to really kickstart with whatever it is that you want to do or maybe to continue on the projects that you have been really stuck at because of perfectionism. Remember, version one is better than version none and I am looking forward to hear more about your version ones in our community. So before I leave for today's episode, like I shared earlier, whether or not this community that I am launching is going to do well is highly dependent on whether or not you are going to join and to participate in conversations. So I would really like to take this chance to invite you to join the community, to join us in our conversations. Click on the link on our show notes below and join for free today. And I cannot wait to see you inside. Goodbye.